What to Play presents the top 25 best games of 2019 so far, arranged by play scores. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. When a game only reaches the minimum requirement of critic or gamer reviews, it receives a provisional play score. Opening our list is Metro Exodus. The Metro series takes on a different environment in the first ever installment in more than five years. But after a long hiatus, 4A Games managed to pull it off. Exodus explores many things, from the semi-open world format to the sandbox-like levels that provide a contrast to the restrictive atmosphere of the earlier titles. It balances the familiar with the unfamiliar, earning play scores of 8.60 on the PC, 8.38 on the PS4, and 8.03 on the Xbox One. I've never been particularly fond of violence, but these are bad people. Bad people that need to be stopped. Number 24 is My Friend Pedro. Devolver continues to mess around with violence and style in this shoot em up of epic proportions. Led by a talking banana, of course. Have a field day and embrace the joy of killing thugs in the most stylish way possible. It's like watching a ballet of bullets and blood. Overcome the many levels the game has to offer and feel that rush of ultra-violence in every moment. It's a fantastic game with a play score of 8.62 on the PC and a score of 7.83 on the Switch. Leave while you still can! Kill the sister! Take the boy alive! Must protect him. 23rd is A Plague Tale Innocence. Asobo Studios' emotional story takes you into the lives of two survivors set in the darkest hours of history. Plagues, religious zealots, and human nature are the biggest enemies you'll encounter in this dramatic third-person adventure. With the help of your trusty slingshot, survive the real-life horrors of humanity's lust for power. It receives a play score of 8.62 on the PlayStation 4, 8.59 on the PC, and 8.50 on the Xbox One. One in second place is Hypnospace Outlaw. Nostalgia is a killer marketing strategy, and apparently so is Vaporwave. Hypnospace Outlaw is the perfect combination of all things edgy, packing a lot in its simulation gameplay, take on the role of the weird internet police, and watch over every nook and cranny of their fictional internet paradise. With its many retro puzzles and point and clicks, Hypnospace Outlaw delivers exactly what they promise but might leave you asking for more. It has a play score of 8.66. Number 21 is Fel Seal, Arbiter's Mark. 6i Studios' is answer to the lack of tactic games recently. This medieval steampunk game mixes mature storytelling and deep combat, using old and new gameplay technologies to cater amateur and veteran RPG fans. Control your own group of arbiters and let it flourish as you unfold over 40 story encounters with deep and satisfying combat. It receives a play score of 8.48 on the PC, 8.65 on the PS4, and a score of 7.72 on the Xbox One. At number 20 is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. This recent definitive edition proves just how magical it was the first time. It welcomes new fans into the world of Turkalu Marys while reeling in veteran players with two new playable characters and full voice acting. Everything I feel is in this soul. Both of these added to the innate spectacle of its already good story and combat. One of the best JRPGs from 10 years ago cements its place in the Hall of Fame, getting its highest play score of 8.70 on the PS4. 19 is One Finger Death Punch 2. Stick figures will always have that simplistic vibe to them. In this sequel to Silver Dollar Games' action though, it's never looked better. 
Marking huge improvements in design and animation has helped One Finger Death Punch 2 deliver a fatal blow in satisfying button mashing. It's a straightforward game with no dialogue and true objectives. Just the pure thrill of stylish stick violence. It has a play score of 8.70. At number 18 is The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. One of Sony's most beloved JRPG series gets its chance in the limelight with their re-release on modern-gen consoles. Originally released for the PS3 and PS Vita, The Legend of Heroes lives on the PlayStation 4, rewarding each with separate physical releases. Adding the enhancements from the PC versions and over 5,000 voice lines have made contributed to preserving the magic of the original on the new consoles. Trails of Cold Steel gets a play score of 8.71, while its sequel received an 8.43. Number 17 is Islanders. Grizzly Games' minimalist strategy game is all about building colorful islands and cities. All it requires from you is a bit of time and a hint of imagination. Injected into its atmosphere of relaxing city building is a layer of strategy that challenges you to reach for that certain score. It is a simple, straightforward, and therapeutic experience, at least once you get the hang of things. It earns a score of 8.71. Number 16 is Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Tsukiban marries all cyberpunk, 80s synthwave, and vague Japanese settings in this adventure sim. Become the bartender and get to know the inner lives of your patrons and the world you live in with each new story. For all the limitations of their format, it's pretty expansive, injecting bartending gameplay and a slice of dystopian life within the story. The game has a play score of 8.72 on the PS4 and a provisional score of 8.31 on the Switch. Number 15 is Judgment. Sega expands the Yakuza universe in this action-adventure spin-off set in Japan. Judgment is a legal thriller that's a bit further from Yakuza's criminal underbelly. You play as a detective investigating murder cases. But you're not just some lowly detective. With the power of martial arts, use a variety of styles to eliminate thugs who stand in your puzzle-solving adventures. Putting more emphasis to puzzle, Judgment feels like an original story that could stand for itself even without the Yakuza name. It receives a play score of 8.75 on the PS4. At number 14 is Yakuza Kiwami 2. Yakuza 2 was a special game way back 2006. This remake is a rebirth of Kazuma Kiryu during his glory days, and unlike Judgment, this one is the original. Just like any other Yakuza title, it's set in an open-world Tokyo. Roam around and beat some thugs or maybe play some karaoke to flex on your Yakuza rep. After numerous Yakuza games on the market, it's heavily praised for its near-perfect remake of the original. It receives a play score of 8.76 on the PC. At number 13 is F1 2019 Anniversary Edition. White knuckle your way through expensive pavements and iconic locations in Codemaster's fresh F1 title. Rise up against your rivals across its 21 circuits and famous drivers with its super improved handling and accurate physics. The game's dynamic day and night cycle adds a layer of excitement as it affects your driving experience in different weather conditions. Aside from its additional cars, F1 2019 is still the same game, but it still holds up as the best F1 racing game in recent times. It gets a play score of 8.76 on the PS4, and here are the rest. Number 12 is Superland. Superland might have a pretty small area, but each pixel is worth a lot when it's packed to the brim with puzzles to solve and corners to explore. You could start off your daily life as a tiny little Supra citizen and play your part by answering to the town's problems with your smarts and your swords. With Portal's brain-tickling puzzles and Metroid-style exploration in a charming visual art style, Supraland is one super PC title 
with a score of 8.76. Number 11 is Samurai Showdown. This reboot to SNK's critically acclaimed fighting game is back for more tense and exhilarating action. Remaining true to its roots, slice and dice your opponents with solid precision in its stylized weapon-based combat. To keep up with the times, the visual aspect of this refreshed fighter is powered by the Unreal Engine 4 bringing high-quality detail and fighting like never before. Meet the old and new characters as you journey once again to the glory days of the 90s. It receives a play score of 8.76 on the PS4 and a provisional play score of 7.83 on the Xbox One. At number 10 is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. PlayStation's favorite Tasmanian Devil is back. Crash and the boys, and the girls, make the comeback of their lives in this true HD reimagining. There's additional content, new playable characters, and map add-ons that might turn your world upside down. Playing with friends is as easy as it was before, and friendships are once again tested in each competition. So rev up those engines because the game has a play score of 8.76 on the PS4, a 7.97 on the Xbox One, and 7.98 on the Switch. Number 9 is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. From Software is continuing their legacy in a new format in their latest IP. It's definitely not the Souls-like games we loved before, but that doesn't mean Sekiro is any easier though. It continues the formula of beauty you need to work for in a different format with demanding one-on-one -on -one battles topped with the quiet challenge of their stealth sections. Use your blade for a quiet takedown. Still in the running for the best 2019 title, Sekiro is certainly worthwhile with its highest play score of 8.87 on the PS4. Number 8 is Kingdom Hearts 3, a culmination of a decade-old franchise. Kingdom Hearts 3 marks the series' climactic point as it finally closes the door for the Seeker of Darkness saga. Its colorful hack-and-slash combat takes the series to new heights with fancy gimmicks, party abilities, and some slick Keyblade transformations. Help Sora and his friends save various Disney and Pixel worlds, which includes Frozen, Big Hero 6, Pirates of the Caribbean, Toy Story, and so much more. It has a play score of 8.87 on the PS4 and 8.14 on the Xbox One. Number 7 is a medieval. Retro FPS titles are rare in this time of year, but New Blood Interactive tries to rekindle the old flames of the genre and introducing this to the modern audience. Like the classics Hexen and Heretic, Survive the endless horde of evil and fight using a variety of mystical weapons and abilities. It is a wild mix of chaos, magic, epicness, and brutal mysticism, with a play score of 8.90 on the PC. The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. At number 6 is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Koji Igarashi's latest treat for the gaming community is a colorful Metroidvania adventure. It's packed with all the things Castlevania was known for. Exploration, story, and a haunted castle. You step into the afflicted shoes of Miriam as you stop a curse from turning her body into crystals. Wage war against the castle's defenses and make it to the top using a myriad of fighting styles and magical flurry. Aside from its issues on the Switch, the game is smooth, content-packed, and it stays true to its roots. The game receives its highest play score of 8.91 on the PS4, and here are the rest. Number 5 is Katana Zero. Devolver embraces the growing charm of the cyberpunk genre in this gritty hack-and-slash title with a mix of neo-noir elements. As a junkie samurai, take on assassination contracts across its stunning yet broken post-war society. The game is packed with a beast of a soundtrack, and between its neon-lit atmosphere, Katana Zero is a visual overload of dystopian proportions. It receives a play score of 8.97 on the PC 
and a provisional rating of 8.32 on the Switch. Number 4 is Baba Is You one of our favorite indie games of this year is a charming meta puzzle game that lets you bend the rules depending on how much you understand the concept of pushing and pulling. Every interaction is different and it's 200 levels. Experimentation is a necessary tool to keep the job done. And breaking the fourth wall is merely a part of the game. Hailed for its brilliant game design and its interesting take on the puzzle genre, Baba Is You receives a play score of 9 on the PC and a provisional rating of 8.41 on the Switch. Devil May Cry 5 This game marks the series' crescendo as it continues to exceed everyone's expectations. Gameplay is as intense and stylish as ever, especially when you can choose between three major characters with different playstyles. If you want to read poetry while kicking demon ass, you should go with V. When you want some swag for your demon bashing adventures, go with Dante. And if you're in it for some teenage angst while you slice and dice enemies with your rocket-fueled sword, Nero has got it covered for you. It's a hodgepodge of pure hack and slash goodness and rock and roll. It has the highest play score on the PlayStation 4 with a 9.04. At second place is Slay the Spire. Among the popular CGs in the video game community, Slay the Spire remains different yet familiar. Mega Crit Games takes you to a procedurally generated dungeon packed with RNG, luck, and turn-based strategy goodness. Reach the top of the tower, build the most effective deck you have, and slay the Spire for good. Its high replay value, accessibility, and simplicity makes it all the more fantastic. It receives play scores of 9.09 .09 on the PC, 8.75 on the PS4, and a score of 8.46 on the Switch. At first place is none other than Resident Evil 2. Capcom's staggering success lately comes from its focus on its single-player elements. Once again, Resident Evil 2 Remake marks the series' return to form. Help Claire and Leon survive from this nightmarish hell, as they get acquainted with the not-so-friendly residents of this quiet little town. Rebuilt from the ground up using their proprietary RE engine, experience the craziest night in Raccoon City once again with the nifty new third-person mode and realistic zombie physics. Also, don't forget to run away from that big guy wearing a trench coat and a fedora. The game receives a play score of 9.28 on the PS4, 9.1 on the PC, and an 8.79 on the Xbox One.